Hello YouTube, here is a video on how to test your motor on an EasyGo TXT 2000, was it? 2002, that's how you could see the actual uh, year of the car. It says M202, so that's 2002. So really, really quick, I already took off the, uh, the power cables. I took off all, most of the cables. I'm only going to need 12 volts to test the motor. So I'm going to use these two batteries. Here's my uh, diagram of the motor. You got A2, S2, A1, S1. So here's the motor. And you can see on the motor where it says A1, S1, A2, S2. And even on the cables, it'll say what they are, at least on mine. If you don't have the lettering on there, like it says A1, if you can see that, uh, then go ahead and tape it and write it down with marker so you can remember to hook them up. But I kind of put it in the place where they're going to be. So first thing you're going to want to do after you un undo the battery cable is jack your card up. So when if the motor does work, you're not going to be uh, taking off in your garage smashing into the wall. So simply this is what I came up with that I think is going to work for you. First thing you want to do is connect S1 to A2. Sorry. And I just use like a six gauge cable. And then the last thing you're going to do to make it simple, and I just came up with this, is use your jumper cables. Make sure I'm not connected. Start with pot and negative. These are the two that I have set up. So that one's on. And then I'm gonna do a positive. So if you can see I have two batteries, they're both six volt using 12 volts. And I'm gonna go over and carefully actually put on some gloves. Sorry if this is jerky, but hopefully we'll get to an end result. So you want to put the negative on A1. I hope. So right now we got those two on. Then the positive on A2. Or wait, my bad. S2. So this will let me know if this works. And voila, tires are moving. So there you have it. There's a quick look at it. So I know it's not my uh, motor. I already put in new batteries new cables. I switched out my reverse and forward switch. I put a new solenoid in. So the last thing I can think is either going to be the ignition or this control box. So those are my last two things to figure out. But I hope this helped because there's not many videos on how to uh, test your motor. Um, thanks.